You're gonna save us some grapes. Look at her eating them grapes. Here you like them grapes? So down, what kind of grapes are these that she's eating? These are Blanc du Bois. You gotta be careful. Watch out for predators. <laughs> Yeah, even your dog can be a predator. In your vineyard, it will devastate your crop. Right here, you see the Florida chow hound pulling grapes off by the <laughs> cluster and eating them. And she's managing to eat the grapes and <laughs> leave the stems. She's, she's not eating the stems, just the grapes. She's smart. She's a smart puppy. She doesn't want to eat the mangoes too? Yeah, she eats the mangoes and she eats the pears and she eats oranges. She doesn't eat oranges too much, actually. She eats anything else. Look at these. Yeah, that's Blanc du Bois. You said these are hybrids? Of... These are what's called a Florida bunch grape. They're pretty though. Yeah. I'd like to it, try to grow some a, of these. A variety that maybe has been out since the mid 80s, mm -hmm. something like that. Here, I'll walk over here and look at this one. Next time I'll try to get this to work. I haven't played with it for a while. Look at them grapes. And that's the Victoria Red. Let me uh, take a little sample. You wanna get you one? Yeah. Try this one. Oh, I don't even, there we go. Wanna try it first? Got a few seeds, but other than that, it's perfect. pretty good. Crunchy. Yeah. It's pretty much, you know, grocery store quality except for the. It is. There's some the at the very top. Growing. And it's um, resistant to Pierce's disease. Wow. Both of these are Pierce's disease tolerant. So you can see it's this year. This is the biggest I've ever seen it this year. You need this in the southeast. That's why we can't grow, you know, Thompson seedless grapes and all those other kinds here or mm -hmm. Chardonnay. This is that anthracnose I was telling you about. You do have to spray some copper or something, some similar fungicide to control that. Mm -hmm. And you'll see a few little spots on the grapes, but mostly it's a foliage disease. Mm -hmm. But you see, see the black spots, that's probably. Most likely that's the same in fragments. This one's mostly grown as a wine grape. It's not, you know, table quality. It makes a good white wine. So people think you can't grow wine in Florida, but you can go something like this and it tastes just like, you know, white wine anywhere really. I want to grab them other ones before she gets it right here. No, I think we have to look, we have to put the dog inside, you know. Let's go and grab this so we can at least enjoy some. <laughs> or somebody eats it all. The dog. Just want to get them out. Mm. It's good. You can eat the seeds too. It's good. That must be the arachnus you're talking about? And thracnose. And thracnose. If you train it, um, if you train it right, it's easy. Like a, a multi-wire trellis, kind of like what we do for the blackberries. It's, it's pretty easy to access the vines, to spray it. This is kind of a jumble. But it's kind of cool, though, having the, the grapes hang down through the pergola. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Thanks, John. You're welcome.